I definitely thought Minecraft was done with snapshots and changes. I said that in the last video. But here we are in a new snapshot with new things and crazy changes, actually, uh, that are actually kind of absurd. So uh, let's let's get into them. There's a lot of things we need to cover, a lot of new items. Uh, in fact, if we just type ominous, you're going to see quite a few of them here. So, you know, we have the regular ominous banner. The ominous banner is a very known raid farm thing. You know, it's a raid thing. It's a raid thing. But what we haven't seen yet is the ominous bottle and the ominous trial key. And both of these are gonna come in very handy here shortly. Starting with the ominous bottle. We're just gonna, just gonna drink it. As you can see, Bad Omen 5, uh, which is kind of cool. It also had a new little sound effect. I don't know if you heard that, but it was kind of cool. It's got that cool little, little thing there. So that's kind of cool. You get Bad Omen from a bottle now, which is kind of sick. So there's two ways to get these. You can either get them from trial spawners or you can get them from raid bosses. Not raid bosses, the raid captains. I'm gonna go find them. Okay. All right, pillager outposts. Uh, do we got any pillager? We do got pillagers. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Ready? Ready? <gasps> hey, yeah. Whoa, that was cool. That's new particles. We'll talk on the, about that later. But look at, yeah, we got one. Sick, amazing. So uh, the ominous bottle, new thing, kind of cool. But what does it do? It gives you the particle effect. We talked about that. But where, why, how does that work? Well, very similarly to how it worked in the past. So we got to find a village. Here we are in a plains village. And if I can just come down here, oh. Oh, we got, oh, oh, new effect. Ooh, look at the little particles. Whoa, there's little skulls. That's so cool. So we got Raid Omen 5. Wherever I uh, activated this, that is essentially going to be where the raid is going to originate. So uh, you'll see here in a moment, there it is, raid up above. That's how we trigger a new raid. So that's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to defeat this raid with nothing but this, uh, <laughs> with this mace. Hey. That way we can get an even better look at the particles. Boom! This is just a raid. This is a regular old raid. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Don't worry about the ominous trial key. We'll deal with that later. Where are they? There they are! Charge! Bonk! Whoa! The particles are crazy! The particles are so cool! Okay, I like that change a lot. That's a new thing in the snapshot, the particles. Oh! Hey! Oh! Ah! Yeet! Bonk. Oh, jeez, the Iron Dome's gone. Uh -huh. oh. Yo, dude, the mace is amazing for taking out raids. This is actually sick. I'm coming to save you. Uh -huh. Bonk. Oh my gosh, that's so satisfying. Die, die, wind charge, go, yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many guys. There's so many. No, no, no. wait, hold on. We can talk about this, man. I, I promise I'm good at this. I can play game. I'm playing game, game being played. Ah! Gosh, there's so many guys in this wave. I think they killed all the villagers already. <laughs> all of the villagers are dead. Oh no, oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. Wait, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. The vexes are gonna be the downfall. <laughs> Wait, was that, where's the raid? Where's the raid thing? Did I lose? I guess I lost. I have an arrow in my eye. <laughs> that's whatever, that's great. Uh, you saw the point, uh, ominous bottle. Very cool. <laughs> Bad Omen has been expanded to give access to optional experience in trial chambers. These optional experiences are accessed through Bad Omen are now known as ominous events. Okay, so we can use this Bad Omen bottle effect. Oh, hello. I guess he's the new villager now. All right. Uh, <laughs> we can use this Bad Omen effect to uh, also trigger something in the trial chambers. I just threw a wind charge. All right, let's go to a trial chamber. Here we are, the trial chamber. Ta-da. <laughs> I have the effect, right? I have the effect in the top right. How do we trigger the actual, whoa. This is a new room. What's going on over here? There's like different colored glass. This is a spider. That's a spider face. Whoa, that's cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Whoa, oh, oh, that's cool. <gasps> Whoa, so it triggers it. Oh, look at that. <gasps> okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I need to recoup here for a second. Okay, wait. Okay, so what happens is when you have the bad omen effect and you walk near a trial chamber, it does that cool blue glowy effect, right? And it can spawn mobs that have trial chamber armor on. That's so cool. So now I can just bonk. <laughs> Got him. Yoink. Bonk. Whoa, what the heck? What was that? Whoa, things are spawning above me. You see that? Look, look, things will spawn above you. Whoa, 
That's so cool. This is uh, considered an ominous event in the trial chamber. I forget exactly what this is called. Oh, oh whoa, baby zombie with the helmet. Okay, I like that I'm just taking out this whole thing with a mace. I think that's a really fun use of this. All right, okay, okay. Little guy with chain mail and trims. All right, dripped out little baby zombies. I see how it is. You'll also see I have trial omen, and I think that's what's triggering the spawners to uh, become the omen trial spawners or whatever they're called. Uh, this guy's got diamond armor, what? Too bad I have a mace. <laughs> okay, we got a golden carrot from this one. And uh, let me just get up here. We got rotten flesh from that one. Oh, but we got another trial spawner. Another thing you'll notice is that trial spawners have been changed to only activate with line of sight. So if you can't see a trial chamber anymore, it doesn't trigger the trial spawner to spawn. The sound design for the cool little things that appear in the air are so cool. Oh, lingering potion. What do I have infested? I have infested? What is infested? That's so cool. Okay, infested. Oh, oh, that's infested. It spawns... What? <laughs> it spawns silverfish. Okay, that's actually so cool. That's one of the new effects that we'll actually touch on later, but that's so cool. Like, I told you guys, there's a... Oh my gosh, I'm a pincushion. <laughs> there's so many things in this. It's absolutely absurd. So this is, uh, this is two of the spawners here. Did we get any... I have this ominous key, but we're not using it yet. Uh, because the ominous key is used for, uh that thing up there. And actually, since I have one, let's go ahead and go up there and let's see what's going on. Okay, so this is an ominous vault, I think? Yeah, so this is an ominous vault and it has a different texture and it emits soul flames instead of the regular like vault particles. Here's a regular vault for comparison. There you go. So you can see this is orange. It's got just one of these little faces on it. This is more of a blue and it's got all of these faces on it. It's like three. Same with the key. So the key has just the one little skull, but this one has the three. And you'll notice that this trial... <laughs> but you'll notice that now this trial key doesn't... Oh. It doesn't... Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, uh, but it still gives me the advancement, apparently. So that's that's weird. The ominous trial key also works on the regular vault, but doesn't give you anything. But if you put this in here... Let's see what we get. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Okay, that's... Whoa. <laughs> Five diamonds, 12 emeralds, enchanted golden apple, and an iron block. Okay, that's... Wow. That's... Whoa. <laughs> so yeah, the loot pool in these spawners or these these vaults is like way better than the regular vaults, which is kind of awesome. What the heck? I got a trident out of this? I didn't know you could get tridents out of vaults. That's cool. Well, and it's like a full durability trident. Okay, no complaints. Wow, dang. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the new ominous vault, which is kind of cool. The ominous trial spawners uh, basically just transform from the basic trial spawners like this. This is a regular trial spawner that turned into an ominous trial spawner because of the effect that I have. But the vaults only spawn uh, individually. You can't like transform an old vault into a new vault. That would be really overpowered. So I think that makes sense. By the way, the new ominous vault are also the only way to get the heavy core for the mace. So that's a change. Anyways, what else could we find? This is so cool. So going into the trial chamber now with Bad Omen will give you more difficult spawners. And that is so cool. Also take note again that I was line of sight with these spawners and that's how they were activated. But that one up here didn't activate until I was looking at it. So, or until it was in my line of sight, which is really cool. So if the trial chambers weren't difficult enough for you, this is the way to get even more stuff, even higher reward. Probably also just want to be good at the game because I am not good at the game. <laughs> also, side note, they do drop their armor right now, but that's a bug, and that's going to be changed in the future. So it's not supposed to be. They don't. They're not supposed to drop their armor. So, so you know those like the little arrows and stuff that have been spawning above our heads. Yeah, like that. That also drops potions. So like right here, this is feather or like uh, slow falling. Yeah. So like it just drops effects on you too, which is actually so cool. Things just appear in the sky and then like drop on your head, which is kind of absurd. Uh, so now I have. Oh, there's another ominous uh, thing there. Cool. Nice. Nice. Okay. So that's interesting that these already like spawn in these rooms, uh, even if the uh, ominous effect isn't like enabled. So it's kind of cool because it, it just means that you're like, what is this? I can't activate this. And then you can use uh, the bad omen effect to actually unlock those, which is so cool. All right. What does this one give me? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Another enchanted golden apple, arrows, block of emerald. Okay, all right. That see, that loot pool feels like considerably more crazy than the old one. That's awesome. That's crazy that they can spawn with diamond armor like that. That's kind of absurd. I kind of love it because obviously it's supposed to be challenging, but like that's crazy. That's like that's like a lot of protection, bro. Look at look potion potion appearing and then it drops. Ready? Boom. And now there's a potion effect here, which is speed for some reason. That's kind of cool. I definitely thought they were only negative effects, but I guess not. What do we get? Wow. 
Rotten Flesh, my favorite. <laughs> this is sick. This is crazy. What a crazy addition to the Trial Chambers, even like of like ages after their release. There's so many snapshot changes today. This is so cool. I legitimately thought they were done. I thought they were going to start releasing pre-releases and stuff, but here we are. Oh, what the heck? What did I just get? Oozing. What is oozing? Oozing is a new effect. What the heck? What does oozing do? Does this... Is this spawn like slimes? Wait, hold on. Look at the effect icon, by the way. That's really cool. Oh, that's so cool. These are like hidden. That's crazy. This is so cool, dude. What the heck? This, what a change. Boom. What are we gonna get? Ooh, banner pattern. Okay. Banner pattern and some arrows. Flow banner pattern. Nice. Oh, look. Wait, the vaults are in different places too. So they kind of changed up a lot of this. All right, hold on. So they changed up quite a bit of this. They also changed the vault location, which is kind of interesting. Okay, that's cool. That's a neat little uh, little change. I actually really like how this looks. Just on like a little pedestal like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's cover the next two things, which is the new potion effects and the mace enchantments. Random side note, check this out. Ah, that's nice. That's cool. That's a nice little sound. I like that change. That's a good little, that's cool. I like it. Very nice. All right. The following effects have been added. Wind charged. Affected entities will emit a wind burst upon death. Brew with an awkward potion and a breeze rod. So you can, oh, you can brew these. I'm still covered in arrows. Hello, test subject pig. Take this. Oh, he's wind charged. Look, look, he's got the little effect now. Okay. So now in theory, if I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. If we activate this guy from a distance, pew. Boom! That's cool! You, wind charged. Now, fill the rest of the space with more pigs. Now, Beep. got it? Yeah! Oh, he escaped! <laughs> okay, cool. Test one complete. Wind charged. Very nice. Very cool. I still have an arrow in my eye. Next up is weaving. Nice. Splash potion of weaving. Let's see what this looks like with just one pig. Hey there, piggy. Doink! Boom! Oh, look at that! That's cool. So the weaving effect will spread cobweb blocks upon death. That is super cool. And then non-player entities can walk through cobwebs at normal speed if they have this. Okay, there, walk through the cobwebs for me. Walk through those. Yep, nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> that's probably something that works with trial uh, entities. So that's probably fine. So what happens if we just do this and then uh, use splash potions of harming? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty neat effect. That's called weaving. That's really neat. You can brew that with an awkward potion and a cobweb block. All right, next up we have oozing. 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 For this one, affected entities will spawn two slimes upon death. So let's start with just one guy here. Boom. Slimes. Whoa, that's cool. So now if we just do the same in here. <laughs> yes. Yes! By the way, slimes are immune to this, so you can't affect a slime with oozing and then get more slimes out of it because that's just counterintuitive. It's just how they work anyways. That's a lot of experience. You can get that one by brewing an awkward potion with a slime block. Finally, we have infested. Splash potion of infestation. Let's start with one. The uh, splash potion of infestation means that affected entities have a 5% chance to spawn one to two silverfish when hurt. So I'm just gonna punch him. Boom, boom. 5% chance of it spawning silverfish. It didn't work. <laughs> but if I do that with these guys, any silverfish? Yeah, silverfish, yeah. Also, silverfish are immune to infested, so that, that makes a lot of sense. You can also brew this one with an awkward potion and a stone block. These are also effective on the players for the most part, so as you can see, I now have wind charge. Super cool effect icon, by the way, I love that. Let's do splash potion of weaving. That's super cool. Oh my gosh, these icons are so sick. Oozing, boom. We saw this one earlier, very cool. And infestation, nice. We get the little silverfish icon. That is so cool. If I just die. <laughs> oh, it did all the things, that's so cool. All right, next up, let's talk about the mace enchantments. Maces can now take mending. They can take unbreaking three. They can take smite five. You can put bane of arthropods on it. You can put fire aspect two on it. I'm gonna put that on this one. And you can put curse of vanishing on it. So these are all the effects that already exist in the game that the mace can use, which is cool, which means that this mace is now just crazy powerful. hi -yah! Oh, I hit the ground first. Boom. 
Nice. <laughs> but there's also three effects that are introduced in this snapshot that are unique to the mace. Those effects are density, up to level five, it looks like. Breach, it was up to breach four. And wind burst, uh, has level three. So let's start with density five. Density is a common enchantment, and you can put that on things with the uh, the enchantment table. There you go, you can see density one. Pretty cool. Uh, maces enchanted with density do more damage per fallen block per density level. One, two, three, four, five, five. 12, 16, 17, 19, 20. So in theory, I don't know if this is enough to kill an iron golem. No, so without density, you can't kill an iron golem. But with density, boom, you can. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Boom, I missed. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Boom, the particles are crazy. Okay, cool, nice. So density is basically sharpness for maces. It just deals more damage. Next up, we have breach, which reduces the effectiveness of armor on targets. Very cool, very cool. Uh, I guess, how do we show this? <laughs> okay, I've got two skeletons, one with full diamond armor and one that doesn't have full diamond. He's got a bucket, don't worry about it. Standard mace, diamond armor, doesn't die. But with breach for, he does die, nice. Because as you can see over here with the regular base, boom, dies immediately with just that amount. <laughs> That's not a lot of health. Probably could have used a mob that had a little bit more health. That's fine. But yeah, Breach does that. Breach, Breach, Breaches the armor. I mean, you could probably also do the same thing with density. Yeah, so it still it still dies with density, but you can see it breaches through armor. And finally, we have the wind burst effect. This one's gonna be fun. <laughs> this one's a unique enchantment that can only be found in ominous vaults, has three levels, and uh, maces enchanted with the wind burst emit a wind burst upon hitting an enemy, launching the attacker upwards and enabling the linking of smash attacks one after the other. This sounds so cool. I have not tried this yet. I read this, but this is the first time I'm actually gonna try this. Okay, wind burst three. Bonk, I missed, wow, I missed all of them, literally all of them. Boom, whoa, boom, whoa, boom, oh my gosh. Okay, uh, this is, this is freaking sick, dude. What? <laughs> what? Okay, that's so cool. Whoa, whoa, dude, that's so cool. Dude, dude. Dude, dude, I don't know if it's like a great balanced thing, but that's really cool. Okay, all right, I love that. That's such a cool enchantment. Who knows if it's actually balanced or not, but I actually love it. That's so cool. That gives me so many ideas for like mini games and stuff. Like people could do so many cool things with that. Okay, wow, um, this is a crazy snapshot. We're about to break this a little bit. Here we go. Really? There we go. Boom. <laughs> yeah. So I've already done that in a few snapshots of like, you know, piling up the wind charges and launching yourself up. But now this is like kind of a feasible way to do that in survival, which is kind of hilarious. Oh yeah, like 3000 blocks. Yeah, no worries. Just no big deal or anything. Just 3000 blocks in the air right now. The other one I wanted to try was like the same thing, but with uh, slimes. Splash them with oozing. Here we go, here we go. Oozing effect explosion. Boom, and slimes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense. Uh, I'm just gonna press this button a few times. Spawn in a few chickens, you know, no big deal. Cool, lots of chickens. I like the oozing one, because I want to see what it does with the oozing. Now we have TNT. All those chickens have oozing, they're gonna explode, and boom. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> well, that worked nicely. <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, that's... That's a lot of slimes. Do do do. Look at me reverting back to my breaking Minecraft ways, even in a snapshot. All oozing. Boom and boom. <laughs> That's insane. That's so many slimes. All right, here we go. Oozing, wind charged. In theory, this should launch them as well as spawn a bunch of slimes. Here we go. Boom and oh, it's really trying to figure out what they're doing. Uh oh. What is about to happen? <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Well, the slimes are all gone. Uh, so that went well. All right, so this is our new wind charge launcher. We're gonna find out if this actually works. I don't know if this is actually gonna work. For science. If you're not already subscribed, you should subscribe by the way, because this is, this is just, this is what I do on a regular basis. Here we go. Will it launch me? It's just figuring itself out. Here we go. Here we go. Watch it just not launch me at all. Thank you.